Okay, so this app is called Arctic Pix Full. This is the full version, not the uh, demo version. So this comes with all of the deck, and we'll go through this quickly. Um, when you open it up, this is the, the screen that it will uh, come to. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the options quickly. Um, and as you can see, there's a, there's a bunch of them. So all sounds, flashcard, auto play, flashcard tap, matching tap, matching success, and scores, hide match cards, cards and matched card delay. Um, obviously, you can play around with these, and they do different things. We're not going to demonstrate every single one. We're just going to leave all of them on and uh, demonstrate the main program. So we'll come back out of that, and uh, let's start with the, um, the flashcards. So there's three different decks, um, and they all have the um, you know words that start with F or have F in the middle or at the end and so on, TH like the or th, uh, and so on throughout. So you can see a number of different decks here, down to three. And um, what you do is you basically you can either pick one deck to work on and you have the beginning TH, the middle TH or the end TH you can select just to work on beginning, you can select just to work on middle uh, we are going to leave all of them on and you can pick more than one deck which is really nice so you could have TH, you could have SH um, and let's say we want to uh, uh, work on um, R and you can see all of the different options on the right hand side that come up here and again you can select, deselect these um, if you don't think that that category or that phrase or word or letter should be in included in what you're trying to teach your child right now. So we'll leave it on that and um, of course hundreds of different variations of what you can do in different decks but this will give you an example of how it works. North. So what you do is you get the word north. North. And uh, the child would then press the microphone at the top of the screen and then say the word three times. Uh, if he gets the word correct three times or pronounces it correctly, you would press the smiley face three times to record the results. If he gets it wrong once, twice, or three times, you would then press the sad face um, to record the results. They didn't quite get that. So we'll give you a demonstration of a few cards here. North, north, north. You can play that back. North, north, north. And if you think they are pronounced correctly, like I say, you would press yay, 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 three times to get it correct, and so Soar. on. And you, you keep going through the cards doing this. Um, so this is saw, and this is obviously the middle o r. Soar. Okay. So we'll record. Saw, saw, swore. And we'll play that back. Saw, saw, swore. So, as you can obviously hear, I got one wrong. So, we'll record two right. Yay! Yay! Ah! And one wrong. And you would keep air. going. So, this is what we're working on here is air. Uh, this is, funnily enough, it's the word air, but it's the middle A I R. So, again, you would continue to do that. And you can miss road. words. You can keep going through. The road is straight. You can keep going through the cards if you don't want to work on one, one certain thing. Now, the other option I just showed you there was you can actually have the word in a sentence. So when you flip the card... The road is straight. The road is straight. Okay, so we're working on R here. The road is straight. If Oars. You... Teeth. Lotion. Store. Whirlpool. The whirlpool is spinning. Chart. Athletes. They are athletes. Okay, so you get the idea of that, and uh, you keep going and going until you're done. Um, the great thing about this program is that it obviously gives you a percentage of uh, how well you did, but you can also um, save it to a folder. Um, sorry, create you know create a folder um, and call it. Uh, whatever you like to call it and uh, you can write notes and say uh, very easy, hard, um, you know, good day 
uh, whatever it is you would like to write in there and um, and do that and what you can also do is you can then email uh, or save to a spreadsheet or even to your clipboard the results so let's say you're working at home with a nanny for example and you wanted to email mum in the office on how you did on your homework which this would be your homework so you could then put together an email um, with the score and uh, and so on and then send it you know to wherever you are um, to have a look at how you're doing and you can keep as many folders as you like um, you can edit the folders you can delete the folders you can create as many new folders as you as you like also so it's a great way of keeping records on uh, on everything you have there they are athletes and we'll just go back to Oops, sorry we will just go back to um, sorry to the home screen and uh, we'll click on matching and again um, you have the same decks okay so we'll pick three decks you have the option of easy medium or hard uh, we'll click on medium and this is another way to play the game that you can also do the speech with so you don't have to do the speech the other way you can do it with a more of a fun game so left. then you'd record it left 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 yay 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 cat and you can obviously record or not record um, the whole obviously purpose of this program is to record and and test your scores uh, so you would probably want to record every time and then you get a result of the words that you've got correct or got wrong and it tells you the percentage like we looked at before so you would basically just Chef. keep going through this. Joke. Um, Shop. Cat. And then you know once you uh, cat. Once you find a cat. match, um, it stays like that and it disappears from the board. Um, and you keep going until you are done. And then you would have a record of the amount of cards. Now obviously you have. Um, we only did one word, but it would give you all of the different words that you did, and you would save them to a file and send them on to whoever wanted to look at them or save them as a, a CSV or so on and so forth. You can obviously make it um, uh, a lot more challenging uh, by going on hard, so you have a lot more words to choose from. So it's a way of learning, but it's a fun way of learning because you're, you're, you're doing Bitch. these words, you're recording them, and then you're getting a score of how well they're pronouncing the words uh, for that. And the great thing is that you can save everything to a file, and then you can um, you can email it, Google it to a spreadsheet, a CSV or a clipboard. So this is Arctic Pix, um, obviously endless amount of uh, uh, use for this program, lots and lots of different flashcards. Um, with lots of different uh, different decks, um, including blends. So that would a blend would be a BL, KL, FL, GL, PL, SL, for example. Lighter. Just to give you an example. Slow. Blind. Blue. Glove. Blow. Flea. Globe. Floss. Plum. And um, that's about it. So that's Arctic Picks. Plum.